a smooth looking and simplistic UI. Yes, please. Clear enemy nameplates, awesome damage font, organized minimap buttons, customizable cast bars, beautiful weak cards, and more. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Welcome, my friend, to the best 8.3 add ons we use and you will definitely love. Stick around until the end as you get the explanation and setup for each and every one of these beautiful add ons. If it's your first time here, just know that we do these types of videos with every major patch on top of class guides and weekly WoW news shows. If you want to catch the list of add-ons for 9.0 and some of our other juicy content, then you are more than welcome to subscribe and click the little bell because it helps and it also keeps you up to date. Now before we dive into the video, just know that all the add-ons are in the description and you can find pretty much all of them in the Twitch app. That plus be sure that when you are in your character selection screen, you click on add-ons and check the load out of date add-ons thing. All right, the first thing you want is SUI. This will transform the classic Blizz UI into a more slick and dark shaded UI with a bunch of options for you to play with, like, you know, disabling the griffins, fonts, and so on. If you want your UI to look like ours, then be sure to type in chat slash SUI and disable the fonts, the griffins, the cast bars, and the party bumps. These are the most important for you to disable in order to have the other add-ons work with no problems. Of course, there are other things disabled here and you can check it on the screen right now, but just keep in mind, some errors will occur at some point and this is usually because other interface add-ons conflicting with SUI. LVY is a good example for that and you should have it removed before trying out the new add-on. Now, SUI is still in development by Sienna and he needs all the help and support he can get. So, after you finished watching the video, check the description for his Discord and also visit him at twitch.tv slash Sienna. Next up on the line is a beautiful way to see and configure cast bars. Quartz is the name and because you disabled the cast bars from SUI earlier, you can customize and place this wherever you want on your screen. I only have my cast bar activated and placed underneath the Wii Chorus menu, but you also have the option to activate, place and edit the focus cast bar, your target's cast bar and so on. Just hit slash quartz, then click the toggle bar lock so you can see all the cast bars and then hit the little plus sign here. Now if you go on target, you can disable it or click on player and adjust it to your liking. But just note, we haven't made any changes here, just position of it and that's it. The font you see here is called Pepsi font and you can have it too through the add-on any font. So if you install this UI, type slash SUI and disable the fonts options from here. I told you this in the beginning. After this, close the game completely. Now get the add-on called any font, which you will find in the description. After this, you have to download the Pepsi font again <laughs> from the link in the description. And don't worry, the website will not fill you up with viruses and shareware. The font.com is being used for a very long time now by all types of graphic designers and so on. Now, after you downloaded the archive, extract the content on your desktop and rename the Pepsi font into font. Plain and simple, font. Then right click and copy. Now, go into your add-ons folder in WoW and search for the any font folder. Here you will delete the font that you see there. Just delete it and right click again and hit paste. Now you're all done. Do note, if you have other font add-ons, this will not work. Things like milk scrolling battle text or nameplate scrolling comeback text. So be sure to maybe remove these prior to installing any font. Now time for the best Wii chorus out there. Luxtos is the name and man are these super nice and clean. And yo, you can install Heath Week Chorus for any spec and this is quite simple. First, be sure you install the Week Chorus 2 add-on from the Twitch app. After you've done this, go to your chat window, hit slash WA, and then click on new from here, then you click import from down here. 
and then you go to Luxtoso's website. It's also in the description. From here, you hover over Battle for Azeroth, then hover over the class you want the weak auras for and click on it. Scroll a bit down and you can see here six modules for the weak aura. Just click on the first one and it will magically automatically copy. Go back into WoW and hit Ctrl V to paste the code. This pop-up will appear. Just hit import and you have the first module in. Now, in order to have the full weak aura, you will have to copy and import all six modules. So, new, import, back to the website, click on the second module, back to WoW, Control V, hit import, and rinse and repeat. Keeping it on the weak aura site, were you ever in the Mythic Plus during a big ass pull and couldn't really click on your target because you just didn't see your mouse cursor from all of the chaos? And don't get me started on tap targeting when you deal with 10 plus mobs. Well, if you always want to see where your cursor is, then be sure to install the cursor weak aura by Resort. This Wacko IO link is in the description and you just have to go there and click on this, copy weak aura import string, get back into your game, type in chat, slash WA, click import, then hit control V on your keyboard and hit import again. The boom, there it is. Now you have a big white circle on your pointer to help out in any messy pull. For your selected target frames, you want to see all information without making a big mess on your screen. So for that, you shall get bread plates. It can be a bit daunting when you first open it up, but really, there isn't much to it and I'm gonna show you how to make it work, the easy way. So after you install the add-on from the Twitch app, go to interface, add-ons, and click on the thread plates and then click on the big thread plates text. So if you want it to look like ours, go into the general tab and from here go into the health bar view. Here, make sure to have every look set to smooth. Next is the bar width, which should be at 120 and the height set to 23. After this, you scroll down until you get to the color class category and choose color health bar by enemy class. It will help in arena. Now, you go into the widgets tab and click on auras. Scroll a bit down so you find the scale category and you just set the debuffs to 130%, the buffs to 150%, and the CC to 200%. This is very good for Mythic Plus as well as very good for Arena. Everything is modifiable, so what you are doing here is making it look like ours, but you do have the freedom to fiddle with all these nice options. In case you have issues knowing what target you selected, go into Widgets again, go to Target Highlight, and choose arrows, as this will enable these big ass white arrows showing you very clearly what you have selected. A note here, if you go into our Discord under the add-ons and UI section, there will be a pinned comment waiting for you there with Flames Breath Profile, you know, the one you see on streams and uh, on the guides, so if you don't want to get into all the hassle, just do this. Another useful add-on is the one that shows you, in a gentle way, what abilities are ready to be used. You know, major cooldowns like Wings, Dark Soul, Interrupts, Stuns, etc. For this, you should get Doom Cooldown Pulse, as it will pulsate any of your abilities that come off cooldown. Just type in your chat window slash DCP, and from here, you click on Lock to see where the ability will be shown. And then you can place it wherever you want by dragging it. You can set the size, the opacity, and so on. Pretty useful and you do see it a lot in our videos, so there you go. Now if you're like me and have a bunch of add-ons installed, you're probably tired of arranging all those buttons on your minimap, right? I mean, at some point there isn't too much room for them, plus it's annoying to always move some of them out of the way just to see your Q animation or if someone wants to join your group. Have no fear, friend, because MBB is here. MBB will take all those buttons and group them into a single one, so you just click it and see all of them organized in a neat way. We didn't tweak or configure this add-on at all, so you can just install it and you're good to go. Bags are a mess. 
especially in BFA, and you probably went through a lot of add-ons for your bags. Hey, me too. But the one that has truly shown stability and logical organization is Addy Bags. It comes with some pretty awesome filters and tons of customization too. Now, if you don't want it to cover it all of your screen, just follow these steps. First, open your bags and right click somewhere in a black spot for the options to appear. Then in the first menu, have your scale set to 100% and your height to about 63%. Next, let's remove some of the currencies you don't need anymore, at least for BFA. For this, you need to go into plugins, and from here, go into currency. Be sure to uncheck a big majority of this as it will drastically reduce the length of the back menu, making it easier to see everything in there. Everything is placed logically under specific categories, such as consumables, armor sets you saved, trade skill for professions and so on. You can thank me in the comments for this one, it's fine. Next up are the party frames. And as shocking as this may be, there is no add-on for this, but rather some tweaks in the interface section from the game menu. Now, in order to see the party menu, just be sure to invite someone to your party. So, you know, you can create a party. Now, hit escape on your keyboard, then go to interface. Here, you want to go down the list into Rate Profiles. And before we move any further, let's uh, be sure everything is going to be properly saved. So click on the drop down arrow from here and hit New Profile. Let's name this Mythic Plus and we'll, we'll set these up for your dungeon runs. Be sure to have ticked the Use Raid Style Party Frames here on the top. Then check all these boxes you see below. After this, check the keep groups together box. Now you want to check the class color, the power bar for mana and energy and stuff, and basically check anything you would like to see on the party frame. Uncheck the display border because it looks bad. And now we want to move it a bit closer to your character. And in order to do so, click on this little arrow here on the top right and then hit unlock so that the handles are activated on the frame. See those? You can move them anywhere you want. Just don't forget to go back and hit lock frames so you don't see the board. You can also make them bigger or smaller depending on what your preferences are. Because see, right here below, you have the frame width and height. Play around with them until you find your perfect look. Remember to hit save before closing anything so the profile gets stored, you know, the Mythic Plus we just named. You can now make a new profile with smaller frames that are maybe linked on the top right for rating or you just follow the same exact steps as we did previously. And I hope this is clear enough, it cannot get any more clearer than this. Now the next couple of add-ons don't require too much setup, you just install them and you're good to go. First is Deja Character Stats, and this will enhance your character window, showing much more details on stats, item level and so on. Next is World Plan, and this one will help with the mission table, similar to stuff we used in WAD and Legion. It will sort out who are your best champions to send to missions with the highest success rates. And lastly, Angry Keystones is a great add-on if you're doing a lot of Mythic Plus because it adds a much more clearer timer and percentage tracker for mobs, plus a timer for bonus chests, and it also shows upcoming affixes for Mythic Plus dungeons. All these are quality of life add-ons that don't require extensive setup. Of course, if you want to configure them, you can do so freely, but if not, just install and enjoy. Our lovely Patreons make a lot of these videos possible, as always, while you see yourself on the list on the left, please accept our ever grateful thank you. And in case you don't see yourself here and want an awesome custom wallpaper while supporting what we do, check the details in the description. Big love to our Twitch subs and Discord members and to you. Yeah, you. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you soon.